God, how did I forget my neck? That's probably a good size black drone, maybe. Whoa, look at the sun. Today, day, today is the day that the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. Man, I'm pumping these videos right now, man. It's the fall season. Everything's getting jumping off, man. Everything's jumping off right now. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? I hope everybody's doing good. Everybody doing good because everybody's doing good. Because if everybody's doing good, that means God is good. God is good as all time. So as we know, today is the day the Lord has made. So we should rejoice and be glad in it. That's a 10 4. Yo, man, look, we out here getting ready to go for this. Spot should be starting to come in. Uh, the spot should be starting to come in at any moment now, man. So we're, 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 we're getting on them earlier. We're getting in the channel over here in both of North Carolina, man. But we also got backup players, sheep's head, black drum, puppy drum, some of everything, man. But, you know, we can't do too much unless we get some bait. Um, so we're going for a variety of things, man. It's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be trying to fish for today. It's fall season. Everything's in full swing. So, uh, you know, I don't know what we're going to I don't know what we're going to get. But we're going to get some. But nonetheless, look, before we get started, let's go get us some bait. Got to have bait. I'm going for some mud crabs, all right? Now, sheephead, black drum, puppy drum, they love fiddle crabs. Nothing wrong with that. But the creme de la creme are the mud crabs. They did, man, look, I, I would have never thought that mud crabs would be better than a fiddle crab until a buddy of mine's, that uh, a fabrication guy, he took me fishing one time. And uh, I was fishing for, I had fiddle crabs on, I was fishing. And the thing is, I was catching small bass, all this little crap. And he was using mud crab, catching monsters. He said, here, tie one of those on. Tie one of them things old man caught me a six pound sheep head just like that off the off the mud crab. So fiddle crabs will work, but ain't nothing like a good old mud crab. I guess it's the difference between having uh let me see, store bought pizza and pizza hut. You, you got it? Store bought pizza and pizza hut. But yo, check this out. Let's go get us some bait. Alright guys, so check this out. Here we are right here. When you're targeting mud crabs, areas like this, muddy, oysters, uh, oyster, oyster beds, reef where it's a lot of mud kind. Normally on low tide, man, you can pick these, fiddle, these mud crabs up. And the only thing you gotta do, man, is you already got a few of them, if you guys have seen them. Already got a few. So the only thing you gotta do is come up here, make sure you wear gloves, man. These things will cut you, yo. These oysters will cut you to pieces, man. But, uh, I don't know what that was. A little bit of slime, like an old jellyfish or something. Hey, but, yo, boy, look. See, right there, partner over there. They, they, and all you gotta do, just come in here, man. Look, just move, just move the shells. That's all you gotta do. They also make rakes that you can come in here and dig this stuff up. I don't have one, unfortunately. But keep your look, be sure that you wear gloves, man. I'm telling you. First time I ever started digging for mud crabs, man. Cut my hands up super bad trying to get this mess. But it didn't stop me from digging. <laughs> I, I, was, I was ready, boy. I had to get me a sheet in. So let's get us a few of them. And you know, a lot of you experienced fishermen, y'all already know this stuff, man. But for the ones that don't know it, you know, this is. This is what you gotta do. Here's one right here. I can get them up. You guys can see them. That darn it, pitch me, sucker. That's a mud crab. They get bigger than that, as you can see. We're gonna get us about a few dozen of this, these here. And uh, get us a few dozen. See if we can get us a big old sheep head or a black drum. All right, guys, we got bait. Let's go to work. There he is, there he is, there he is. What is it? Oh, that's a, that's a little sheet head right there. Small one, oh, that's a sheet head. Nonetheless, got a little bit of size on them. A little bit of size on them. If I can get that jumper to stop moving, we might could do something. Shoot, stuck me. Yep, he stuck me. That's why you gotta be careful with these things, guys. You gotta be very careful. Very careful. 
he stuck me pretty good. That's a good small. Mm. I'm throwing back. I mean, not that he was, I mean, he was an okay size, but he's not the big one. He's eatable size. I'm pretty sure it was 10 inches, but that's not the one I'm looking for. So, you know. Crab got a little bit of weight on him. God knows he stuck me good, man. That hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's go give him another Big Mac shit. Oh, God. Put your bell over, John. Let's go give him another Big Mac, shall we? Ah, God, God, I hooked up with something over here, guys. Maybe a good puppy drum or maybe a... Oh, okay, all right. Okay, good guy. What are you? What are... Whoa. Come around now. Come around now. Dude, that's what I forgot. My neck. Oh, my God. How did I forget my neck? It's probably a good size black drum, maybe. Whoa, look at the size of the sheep. Oh man, I don't have a net, guys. Shh, I don't have a net. I don't have a net. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this fish, man. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, I'm about to lose this fish. Okay, all right, John. Come on, come on, come on. Just take your time, take your time. Take your time with him. Take your time. Come on, come on. Good God almighty. He took a dump on me, but it's okay, because we got that joker. Oh my God, man, this is a nice sheep's head. This is a nice sheep's head, bro. Nice sheep's head, man. Holy cow. That's a horse. Crank it. Mm. buddy that there is a horse <laughs> check out the size of that sheep's head man <laughs> house dude well, guys I pretty much pretty much I'm pretty sure I disturbed this area man but that goes to show you the difference between using fiddler crabs and actual uh, mud crabs the ratio is totally different the big boys are called on the mud crabs man that ain't saying that the fillers won't catch it but your percentages increase when you do use the mud crab. Now, let's get back to fishing. Okay, guys, I, I locked up with another one. And I know it's another monster sheep's here. Ah, that's another, that's another house. Crank him, crank him. Oh yeah, that's another house. With no net, guys. No net. No net. No net. No net. Good hook set, man. Good hook set. It's a good size one. Good size sheep head though. Oh yeah. Go him in the cooler. We gotta get us some more mud crabs. So guys, in the midst of me, uh, I ended up getting some more bait, man. And uh, in the midst of me, oh, gotta get away from this boat. In the midst of me uh, getting fiddler crabs, I mean, uh, coming back and fishing, fishing for sheep's head, man, I had a Spanish almost jump in my daggone boat. So I'm tied on me a jig right now with a loop knot. And uh, I'm gonna cast this, I know it's a Spanish because I swim. So I'm gonna cast this joker out and see if we can't catch us something. Gotta be, that's what I tell y'all, man. Y'all gotta be prepared for everything. Gotta be prepared for everything. But he sure jumped. I'm gonna cast out far as I can and just gun it in. Maybe we'll get bit, maybe we won't. Who knows? We'll find out. There he is. Already. Y'all see him? That's the Spanish. Already, guys. God knows they're loaded in here too, man. Dude, I literally just cast. Look at that Spanish. Cod Almighty jumping everywhere, dude. Oh, I might have to get my other line in. This one. Well, he got a little bit of shoulders. Oh, man. Hold on a minute, guys. Oh, 
Good old Spanish. Good old little Spanish. Man, oh yeah. He'll definitely go. They loaded in here today. It's a good size Spanish. Good size, decent size Spanish. That's a good size Spanish. Yeah, he'll go 12 inches easy. Let's see. Yeah, he's right at 14. Uh, right at 14. Okay. I got to get myself together, y'all. Because right now, I, I need to anchor. Because <laughs> Cast up some further. I didn't even see where that went at, man. There he is. There he is. Oh my god. That's a good size Spanish. <laughs> Boy, they are everywhere. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love these days like this, man. You got sheep's head, we're gonna get Spanish. Sheep fish kings all day long, baby. Y'all know how we do. Oh crap, ways. Okay, oh, okay, ways. Ooh. Spanish everywhere. Yep, indeed. That's a. Is that a blue or a Spanish? Hey, that's a blue. No, that's a Spanish. Oh yeah, that's a Spanish. Nice uh, Spanish. This is uh, Spanish. <sighs> Guess they like that spoon after all. They are all over. Got some people that want some Spanish, so I'm keeping them for them. Cut it out. Size is 14. Pretty sure they're probably all about it. 13 to 14 range. On this door again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh crap, that might be a better Spanish. Oh my god. That may be a better Spanish, y'all. Oh my goodness. He got some shoulders on him. Try to keep position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get from under there. Get some more. God knows he hit with aggression, man. Uh you little jerk. <laughs> oh my god, man. He hit immediately, dude. I mean immediately. He's a little better. Oh yeah, he's a he's now he's a little better. He maybe go. He might go uh maybe 14 or 17. Well no, I'd say about 15. About 15, I'd say easy. Good gracious, he whacked that. Alright guys, I finally got anchored up. Oh, I finally got anchored up. So uh, now I'm fishing for these Spanish without moving. There he is, off the gate. <laughs> Boy, you tell you, you don't get, that's a small one. Yeah, he's a little small one. He's coming right to the boat one. Uh, you don't get more, you don't get, man, it doesn't get any funner than this. Yeah, man, nice little Spanish, dude. Oh yeah, come here, come here. Come to here. Come to here. Get in here. Now stop acting crazy. I mean, decent size, man. Good smoking size, you know. Oh, that's okay. You're just gonna throw up in my yak. Okay, that's about right. Come on. Got you. Man, where's the flies? Just gonna throw up in my yak, huh? <sighs> Got one out, ten. Too a little small, but all right, guys, I locked up with something, man, and I think it's a red. I don't know what it is, but it's a horse. Uh, I think it's a red fish. It's got to be a red fish. It's got to be a nice slot red fish. It is. It's a slot red. It's a slot red, I think. Hey, big red on. What I do with my camera? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, big guy. Okay, big guy. Okay, big guy. Come on over here. 
Come on back chair. Come on back chair. Nice. Good old slot. Got us a good old slot. Caught him on the bottom sweeper, y'all. Bottom sweeper and the uh I don't think he go he may make 18. We'll see. Caught him on the bottom sweeper. And the fiddler crab. Yeah man. Oh they'll hit that. He is right at about 21 inches. So that's a keeper. That is a keeper, guys. Good size slot. All right. Give me the for the house. One for the house. Hoorah. Take you right to it. Yeah, other side. Yeah, other side of the bridge. There he is. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. That's another one. I think this is, ah, this may be a sheep. It's about a two, or three, about a two or three pound sheep here. Yep, two or three pound sheep here. Oh man, good stuff. Come on, big boy. We're gonna eat good tonight. We're gonna eat good tonight. Maybe a little bigger than two or three pounds. Yeah, he'll go about, yeah, he'll go about five. Easy. Yeah, he'll go about five. Go about five pounds easy, man. Go about five pounds easy. Easy. Good catch. Hey, we on the way home now, man. Uh, it was an epic day, man. A lot of action. I am plumb tired. <laughs> my real arm, my crankum arm is uh, <laughs> going to slam out, man. But, yo, we on the way home right now, man. I'm in the truck. Got a yak loaded, man. We had a great day, man. Tons of Spanish action. I mean, the sheep head action. Uh, puppy drum, man. It was, uh, man, it was a variety of fish, man. It was, it was. Oh man, sorry about that guys. <laughs> sorry about that man. My uh my, my my phone actually, I'm sorry, my GoPro, my battery went dead, all the footage we had today, man. But uh now I'm recording on my phone, sorry about that. But nonetheless, epic day guys. Uh very, very I mean tight lines all day long, man. Fish keys all day. But I'm getting ready to head home, get washed up, give me something to eat. Thank you guys for tuning in as always, man. Great support. I thank you guys, love you guys, man, your family, yo, your family. We rock together, we do this together, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, above all things, man, guys, y'all know the routine, man. Keep God first in everything you do. God will keep you first no matter what you do. No matter what you do, grace is covered and grace will redeem. Grace will make a way when there's no way, man. Grace is the great, great, great tool used to keep us in his will. And I'm so thankful for grace. I'm so thankful that God has, has covered us even when, even times where we don't deserve it, even times where, you know, I, oh man, I, I man, look, man, the times I messed up, good God, I don't know about y'all, but I messed up quite a few times, but thanks be to God that his grace has never ended and his grace is bigger than my reality. I'm going to say that again. God's grace is bigger than your reality. Don't ever forget that, man. Keep pushing, keep striving, keep going hard no matter what, whether financially, whether physically, whether spiritually. Man, look, continue to go, continue to push. Never stop. Keep going, keep going. No matter what, keep enduring. Keep, yo, keep it with you, man. Look, keep enduring, keep fighting the good fight of faith. No matter what, man. We all in this thing together, man. Hey, look, whenever you're down, whenever you feel bad, whenever you're, you're going through hard times, no matter what the situation, man, look, the way I always help myself is somebody always has it worse than me. Somebody always has it worse than you. So no matter where you at, man, be thankful, man, because it can always be worse. Be thankful no matter, look, be content in all things. No matter your season 
here right now, whether it's stormy, whether it's raining, whether it's sunshine, whether it's cloud, be thankful in the midst of the weather, man, because God is great. Better say, hey, look, hey, look, man. Look, look, look. Don't cut off yet. Look, God loves you. You hear me? God loves you. Look, 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 man. He loves you. God loves you. You understand that? Don't ever let nobody tell you anything different. God loves you. He will continue to love you. He just wants the best for you. So if it's anybody that's telling you anything less than what God has told you, you need to get them out of your life. I repeat, anybody telling you opposite of what God said, you need to get them out of your life. Remember that, all right? I'm telling you right now, get them out of your life. And go fishing. <laughs> Y'all stay good, man. Jay Blaze, I'm getting out of here. Fish Kings, we out. Peace, be blessed. Tight lines.